Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Sunday meal prep video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. In today's video for breakfast prep, I'm gonna be doing breakfast burritos for my husband and I this week. And for lunch prep, we're gonna be having grilled cheese pizza sandwiches. So excited to try those. I also have three dinner kits that I'm gonna be putting together and I'm also gonna be prepping some fruit for snacks. So if you wanna see how I meal prep breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks for my husband and I for the week, then stay with me. Before I get started with meal prep, I just want to mention if you're new to my channel, like I said, welcome. My name is Christy. I'm currently following the WW Blue program, but I do provide the points for all three programs on my channel. I will also link you to any recipes, so that way if you're not following WW and you just want to get the nutritional facts, you could get those there. However, you don't need to be following any type of weight loss program to get tips and ideas from my channel. You can get recipes, you can get meal planning ideas, meal prepping ideas, and it doesn't necessarily need to be about weight loss. So I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and also click the notification bell because that's what lets you know anytime that I upload new content. So let's get started with meal prep. So for breakfast, I'm doing breakfast burritos. I am gonna link the recipe down below, but in my original recipe, I actually use Canadian bacon. And I use two pieces on each burrito. The points on them on my website using the Canadian bacon are three points for blue and purple and seven points for green. But today, I decided that I'm gonna use regular bacon. I love this bacon. I used these in a recipe a couple weeks ago and I just put it in there like that. I don't cook it. It's already fully cooked anyway, so I'm just gonna put them in there like that. I'm gonna use three slices in each burrito. For three slices of this bacon, it's two points. So if you just wanna use one slice, it would be one point. It would be the same as if you use the Canadian bacon. So for these ones, the way that I'm making them, because I'm using the three slices of bacon, they're actually gonna be one more point than the original recipe. So for blue and purple, these are gonna be four points, and for green, they're gonna be eight points. You definitely could lower them for green. I use the equivalent of two eggs in each burrito, so you could definitely just use one egg and lower the points. The other things that I'm using are Velveeta slices, so if you use any other kind of cheese, make sure to account for any point. These ones are only one point each. And I'm using the Extreme Wellness High Fiber Wraps. These are one point for each wrap. And then I have 12 eggs, so I'm gonna be making six burritos. I'm gonna have three for me, three for my husband for the week. So you know what's coming, my Red Bull. I'm also gonna be adding in a quarter of a cup of water. I don't think I have this in the recipe because I, I don't necessarily always do it, but it just kind of makes the eggs a little bit more creamy in my opinion, but that's completely up to you whether you wanna do that or not. So I'm just gonna go through and crack 12 eggs in here. I've got my pan sprayed with cooking spray, and I'm just gonna add the eggs. And we're just gonna let those cook until they're nice and fluffy. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper while they're cooking. Once the eggs are done, then I'm gonna put them back in the bowl. So now I've washed my bowl and I'm dumping them back in the bowl so that they'll cool. All right, after the eggs are cooled down, then what I'm doing is weighing the entire amount so I know how much to put on each burrito. Really, for blue and purple, not really necessary because your eggs are zero, but for green, you would definitely want to do this. The whole thing comes out to 803. This bowl is actually 180. I write on the bottom of the bowl how much it weighs. So that's 180. So that's going to be 620, about 623 
which means that I have right about 104 uh, grams in each burrito. So I'm just gonna shoot for about 100 grams in each burrito. So I'll make one and show you what it's gonna look like. So there's 100 grams. So that's why I said that's quite a bit on the burrito. So if you're on green and you want to just use one egg, you'd still have plenty on there. So then, this is so easy. I'm going to take my piece of cheese. And I'm just going to kind of break the cheese up. Then I'm going to take my bacon, which like I said, if you just want to use one piece of bacon for one point, you definitely that would definitely be good but I'm going to use three and then we are going to just fold over the edges flop it over like that and just trying to hold everything in as you roll it I'm trying to get it to where you can see what I'm doing here just make sure you keep your sides tucked And that's it. And then what I usually do is I then wrap it in saran wrap. So that way I twist the ends so I can keep those in there real good. But I have them pretty close. So I think for me what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them in a gallon bag. I'm going to put three of them in each bag and that way we'll have all three of ours. I'll have my three and my husband will have his three all in a bag. I think that's going to be all right. And what I'll do is if there's one end that's kind of open more than the other, like this end is really sealed. But this one, this end I can see it kind of trying to come open. I'll just put that at the end so it kind of squishes it up against it. And then once I have the other ones in there, I can just kind of fold it over like that. All right, so I'm going to just get the rest of these put together. Okay, so there's our breakfast burritos this week. So again, the way that I made these are four points for blue and purple and eight points on green. Moving on to lunch prep. For lunch prep this week, I'm doing grilled cheese pizza sandwiches. I can't wait to have these. So for these ones, for the points, the way that I'm gonna be making them, it's gonna be four points on all programs. But you definitely need to double check your ingredients on this one because it can change depending on the type of bread you use, the type of sauce you use, the type of turkey pepperoni you use, or the type of cheese. So the brands are very important in this one. So for the cheese, I actually planned on using the, the big block of Palio part skim mozzarella. I know that kind you can have one ounce for two points, but they didn't have any. So I, I actually did a Walmart grocery pickup this week and they didn't have any. So my husband ran to Winn-Dixie. So this is a Winn-Dixie brand of low, low moisture part skim mozzarella. If you have Publix or I think probably even great value, most of your part skim mozzarella cheeses are two points for one slice, but it depends on the thickness. So double check your cheese. The bread that I'm using, Judy, thank you. So my friend Judy came to see me yesterday, her and her husband, Terry. She's one of my subscribers that has followed me, honestly, I think from like pretty close to day one. So she, we met yesterday. She's actually moving to Florida. So I, we had a wonderful time, wonderful time with her and her husband yesterday. Uh, so anyway, she brought me this bread because she had mentioned to me in another video that this bread is only one point for two slices and i'm telling you remember i showed bread a couple weeks ago and i said it was kind of holy <laughs> this is hearty bread this is not airy and holy so this is zero net carbs so if you're one that's watching your carbs or your keto this is zero net carbs it's nine grams of carbs and nine grams of fiber so that's why it ends up netting out at zero so I'm going to use that for these sandwiches. So again, thank you so much, Judy. They're the Love and Fresh brand, which Aldi sells. I need to check my Aldi because I have not noticed them, but I don't, I don't follow keto, so I guess the zero net carbs wouldn't really stand out to me. And I just had no idea they were so low in points. 
So I'm having that for the marinara. You can use pizza sauce. You can use marinara, whatever you want. I'm going to be using this Prego no sugar added traditional sauce. You can have one and a half tablespoons for zero points on that. I'm also going to use some parquet spray and some garlic powder for the bread and the turkey pepperoni. This is Hormel brand. So if you're using Hormel brand, you can have 15 slices for one point. So I'm going to be having quite a bit of pepperoni on my sandwich. <laughs> I guess you could call these a pepperoni lovers grilled cheese pizza sandwich. Uh, it's going to have quite a bit on there. But if you wanted to, you could only have five slices and that would be zero. So completely up to you. And, you know, five slices is still going to be, you know, it's still going to fill the bread. So that's up to you. I just, pre I prefer because this is a sandwich and I want to make sure that it's filling for me. That's why I'm going with the 15 and taking the point for it. And for this sauce, you actually can have one and two thirds of a tablespoon for zero. But I'm afraid that if I try and eyeball it, I'll be leaning too much into a point. So I'm gonna use measuring spoons and make sure that I only do one and a half tablespoons. So the first thing I'm gonna do is spray my bread. I'm just gonna do one sandwich for now and then I'll put the others together after. And I'm gonna be using a great big pancake griddle to cook these so that way I can cook all six sandwiches at one time. So I'm spraying the bread and now I'm gonna put some garlic powder if you have like some jarred garlic, you could put that on there as well, but I'm just gonna do garlic powder and we love garlic powder. So you're gonna see me use a lot of that. So now I'm gonna put one and a half tablespoons of the sauce. And this is gonna be one of those sandwiches that's kind of like when I made the paninis a couple weeks ago. The best way to reheat these are going to be like in a toaster oven, something that's going to toast them up. Uh, if you're going to be at work, which I'm going to be when I have these, and you cook them in the microwave, they are not going to come out crispy because in the microwave, they just I haven't figured out a way to do that yet anyway. So once the sauce is down, now you can put the sauce on both sides if you want. I'm just going to do the one side. Then put your piece of cheese and pile up the pepperoni. Now you don't have to use all 15 pieces. It's five, anywhere from uh, six to 15 pieces is one point. And put the top on there. And that is our sandwich. Super easy. And I'm gonna pair these with probably some cucumbers or something. So I'll put the rest of these together and then I'll get them on the griddle. And you know what I did? I put that down on the buttered side. So it's got to be, <laughs> I was talking, not paying attention. All right, let's try that again. So you want the butter side on the opposite side. That one's going to have a lot of garlic on it. And I've sprayed it with cooking spray. So now I'm just going to put the sandwiches on there. Any of the recipes that you see me doing will be listed down in the description box below. And I also will link any of the items that I use in today's video. Those will also be linked down below as well. With this griddle, this is a Presto griddle. Honestly, I've had this griddle. This was the griddle we used to use in our camper years ago when our kids were little. And... So it's been a long time. I don't even know if they have a griddle like this out there. So if they don't, I'll have to check my store and see what I have in there. If they don't have this griddle, I will try and put one that's similar to this one. But these are great for making pancakes, especially for a big family.
I was worried it wouldn't have time for the cheese to melt, but yeah, it's melting pretty good. So these are honestly gonna cook very quick. This is gonna be a real quick lunch prep, y'all. All right, I think they're done. So now I'm gonna slide back over here and I'm just gonna put them back on this. So I'll show you both sides. I only could have probably cooked a little bit more, but that's good. All right, so I'm gonna put them on here. And then I'm gonna let those cool down a little bit. While the sandwiches are cooling, I'm just gonna cut up some cucumbers to go with those. I'm just gonna use these mini cucumbers. You do not have to peel these if you don't want. If you want, just wash them and cut the ends off and cut them that way, but we prefer ours peeled, so I'm just gonna, I don't need to wash them because I'm gonna peel them. I'm just going to add some pepper to the cucumbers. You want to add salt, you can do that. And I'm going to use some Olive Garden light Italian dressing. And I'm just going to put a little tiny bit so we don't even have to count it as a point. Just enough to add some flavor to the cucumbers. All right, so now I have cut my sandwich in half, and you can see what it looks like in there. And one thing I forgot to do that I wanted to do is add a little bit of basil to it. So what I'm gonna do is just take the top off and add a little under the bread. I'm just using these basil leaves. Yeah, that looks really good. So I'm just going to go through and cut the rest of the sandwiches and put the basil leaves on. Alright, so again, on all programs, the way that I made this, this is going to be a four-point lunch. So just make sure that you account for any different types of bread that you use, cheese, or turkey pepperoni. So that's it for our lunch. Alright, so I am moving on to dinner kits. So if you're new to my channel for my dinner kits, I'm just putting everything in bags, just making my own meal kits, basically. I just write the points, write what everything is, and write the points for everything that's in the bag. So the entire dinner gets put on that bag. So for my dinner kits, the recipes are all listed down below. I don't actually go through and make these ones with you. Uh, I'm just showing you how you can actually make your own dinner kits. So I just cut up some of the broccoli. I'm going to wash it the night that I do it. Broccoli goes down there. We're having broccoli and asparagus this night with these. And the other thing I'm going to be having is uh, rice, and it's 90 second rice, so I don't put that in the bag. It's just the kind that goes in the microwave. Also, this recipe is real low on points for blue and purple. And honestly, on purple with this recipe, uh, the bourbon glazed salmon is only one point. The rice that I use is three, and then the broccoli and asparagus is zero. So if you're on purple and you do brown rice with this, then you are looking at a one point dinner. So keep that in mind if you're on purple. And then my asparagus, I just cut that, put that in there. And then usually I just take my meat and just put my meat in there. But for this night, I'm doing my salmon a little bit different because this is bourbon glazed salmon. This is actually salmon that gets marinated overnight. So this is actually just a mixture. I'll have the recipe down below, but it's a mixture of ginger, soy sauce, bourbon, brown sugar, and I use the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. So if you use regular brown sugar, just make sure to account for the points. And then it's uh, lime juice, minced garlic, and that's it. That's all that's in there. So now I'm just gonna put my salmon in there. And my salmon is actually still a little bit frozen. I forgot to take it out. So hopefully I can do this okay. I'm hoping that it's going to let me seal the bag. I think we are in luck. So if it wasn't frozen, I wouldn't have had such a hard time. All right, I think we're okay. And then that just goes in there and we'll just let that marinate overnight. So that's it. That's how I do my dinner kits.
For the next night, I'm gonna be doing garlic herb pork tenderloin with potatoes, carrots, and gravy. So for this one, I was actually just finish, finishing up the sauce here. So this is the topping for the pork. And it is a mixture of stone ground mustard, olive oil, chives, and garlic. And again, the recipes will all be listed down below. So the topping I'm just putting together so that that way it's already made the night we go to have it. I know I could use a spoon, but this saves me on doing dishes. All right, now for the carrots and the potatoes, carrots are zero, so you really don't have to weigh them out, but I do. Now for this one, it's nine points on blue, six points on purple, and 12 points on the green. That's because we use quite a bit of carrots and potatoes on this. So for this one, you could definitely lower the points by using less potatoes. We actually use 12 ounces of carrots and 12 ounces of potatoes for this recipe. It makes quite a bit, but it's just the way we like it. So I could probably cut the ends off first before I weighed the carrots, but it'll be close enough. Now I'm gonna weigh out 12 ounces of potatoes. Perfect, 11.95. So those just get put in there. The topping gets put in there. And my pork tenderloin, which I actually forgot to portion this out before I put it in my freezer. So usually when I buy big ones like this, this is 24 ounces and I only need 10 ounces. And I usually portion them out and then put it in my fr freezer. So that way I have separate ones that I forgot on this one. So what I'll do is just cook up the 10 ounces for this. I'll pour, you know, cut it off and then the rest of it, I'll cook something, put something together for the weekend or something. And I have a lot of people ask me if I put these kits in the freezer. No, I just put them in the fridge. This is only for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday night. So they don't sit in there all week. And the fish, I actually do that on Monday night. So any fish, I wouldn't recommend keeping fish in the fridge for the three days, but chicken or pork is fine. And finally, the last one I'm doing is Philly style Hasselback chicken with zucchini, squash, and Brussels sprouts. And I think I'm gonna do some butternut squash with this one also. So I pulled out my butternut squash. I have eight ounces of butternut squash in here that's cubed. I actually bought a butternut squash and then I just cut it up into cubes and put it into packages in my freezer. So I'll put that in there. I'm gonna need a zucchini and a squash. This one's going to be hard to fit everything. Actually, let me put the Brussels sprouts down at the bottom. And then I have three things of chicken here. So this is the Springer Mountain Farms chicken. These are packaged into four ounce pieces. So usually when I make dinner for my husband and I, we usually do like five to six ounces for each of us. So this is actually gonna be 12 ounces. So I'm gonna just put both, all three of those in there and we'll each have six ounces. So that's gonna be six ounces each for each of us, which on green, that is that accounts for the points in here as well. And then the other things I need are an onion and pepper. So I have a red pepper and an orange pepper, which as you can see, are not gonna fit in this bag. So I'm just gonna kind of set them there. And the last thing I need is some ultra thin provolone. So for this, I use two slices for each of us. So I'm gonna need four slice of the, slices of this. And you know, I used the smaller bag for my salmon. I should have swapped it. I should have used the smaller bag for the cheese and this bigger bag for the salmon. I forget I have three different size bags. And these bags will be linked down below. Like I said, everything I use will be linked down in the description box below. So that's how I do my dinner kits. Uh, like I said, usually it's just enough for my husband and I, just two people, and except for the salmon, I do three because my dogs have salmon with us. So now I'm gonna move on to snacks. The only thing I have to prep for snacks this week is to cut up a cantaloupe and wash up my red raspberries. I'm 
just gonna rinse out my berries and I just use my OXO salad spinner to do that. I just fill some water in it, which I don't wanna turn on now because it's gonna make it really loud. And I do about one part vinegar to four parts water. after they've been sitting for a few minutes and just rinse them off real good. And just lay them on some paper towels or as I use these unpaper towels. They're basically reusable paper towels. And then just let those sit and dry. All right, so I've got my cantaloupe and my red raspberries. The only other things that we have for snacks are things that I don't have to prep. We have our sugar-free pudding, popcorn, things like that. All right, so I'm not doing a super close-up and going through all the points because I really did that, the close-up while I was cooking. I will show you the rest of my snack bin. This is just a bin I keep in the fridge. I have two-point cottage cheese in here. I have two-point puddings in here. So mandarin, oranges, apples, two-point sugar-free puddings, and then we have our cantaloupe and our raspberries. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like meal prep videos. Put your any comments down below. It really does help my channel, and I greatly appreciate it. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. I'm Christy, and I'm planning us healthy. I'm gonna make sure it wasn't gonna dump out.